So you might remember the video that we made not too long ago where we tested region scouting only to discover that in terms of accumulation of knowledge of the regions that you're scouting, it's basically ineffective and doesn't seem to work very well or make a lot of sense, which raised an important question that you guys asked, which is what is the best way to scout if the region scouting we've done for years doesn't work? So we are actually live on stream right now and we have set up a test. I then went and beat Minesweeper and now we are going to check the results of that test. So come with me on a journey. And that journey is actually to the to the bottom corner. So hold on, let me. Hey, there we are. There they are. They're here checking out the uh, the video, filming a video live on stream, which if you haven't checked out the stream, the link is where chat? Where is the link? Once you finish saying hi, of course, down below. There we go. <laughs> link to the stream is down below. We hope to see you there at some point. And oh, is this me with my Minesweeper victory? We don't care about time. We care about excellence. And we achieved excellence defeating Minesweeper on expert mode. But that's not why we've come here. We set this all up and have been simulating a 490,000 person database forward from June 5th. We are now in February and we are going to pause. We None of us have seen these results live. We are going to pause and we are going to take a look at what the knowledge is at for these scouts. Now we might you know, advance a little forward later to see if it changes. But that is only if we feel like we have not achieved a lot of knowledge right now. And <laughs> the issue is that we're going to have to look at the scouts and their knowledge before we actually tell you exactly how the experiment was set up. But I promise, I promise I will do that. Let's go to our assignments. And apparently all of the assignments for the leagues are already done, which is interesting because initially it told us that it was going to go six months and we're only in February. And we assigned them to scout not only in the Liga Postabon, which is the top Colombian league, but also in the Copa Movistar, which is the top top league in Peru. And they, it says, as you can see here, that they are actually completely finished that. So let's go ahead and find our 2020s, our, our best person for each group. The big man 20 speak in Spanish. How much knowledge do we accumulate? None. Okay. I, I, I don't believe this. So I'm going to save it and we are going to go check our saves. So maybe you believe in the idea that knowledge degenerates over time. And if knowledge degenerates over time, then we actually have three month auto saves. So we can go back to our first three month auto save, which would have been in October. And we can take a look to see if there is any knowledge that was accumulated up to that point by the best scout uh, that we sent out. This is how I felt after I tested scouting for the first time where it came back with just weird results. You're technically blocking the knowledge. Oh, professional streamer here. I'm gonna move myself to this corner. <laughs> Trust me, there was no knowledge. Let's go look at scouting and assignments. And so we're hanging out in Liga Postabon. We see all of our guys are still in Liga Postabon and allegedly have three months left to go before they go to the Copa Movie Star. We see people are coming up with different scouting reports. Weirdly enough, the best scout hasn't. And there is a little knowledge of Colombia. So what have we proven conclusively from this right now? Knowledge degenerates. Knowledge accumulated through scouting degenerates. And as we just saw, degenerates really aggressively. This is in October. He's got three more months of scouting left and it's gone in February. That's fast, right? That knowledge goes away quickly. I don't know how I feel about that. We're just finding information. I don't know how to interpret this information yet. This is the best scout that we sent on league scouting. What about the best scout that we sent on nation scouting, which would be Team Iol? That's better. Hot diggity! I think we've got our answer. Okay, well, let's load up January and let's check our January autosave on January 5th. And so the best scout at least has proven that Team Iol with the nation scouting has outdone Team Big Man, uh, named after two of our mods, of course. Team Big Man, who is on league scouting. Let's end our vacation in January and let's see what we've got here. Copa Movistar is already done. So our January autosave, it's already done. If we look at Iol, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. That's way better than region scouting. Honestly, that is that is pretty good. That is a pretty significant amount of knowledge. Now, this is somebody that's obviously a 20 at everything and speaks Spanish. This is like our power control group. This is the best you can possibly do in this situation without any prior knowledge. And it's doing well. Uh, but if we go look at big man, same control group, 
scouted not only a league in Colombia, but also a league in Peru, allegedly. We've not seen that. It happened in a month. The knowledge is obviously lower. It's already deteriorated significantly. It'll be gone in the next month. So we've actually made strides, unlike our first video where we went, ah, region scouting's kind of not good. But now we're at least making strides in terms of understanding what the heck is going on here. Nation is the way to scout, it would seem. So how was the experiment set up? We went back to the same save file, uh, that we used for our original scouting test to see if we could produce different results in the same environment. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're scouting in Northern South America, that North South America region, that was our goal. So we ended up in Colombia and Peru. This time we took the 16 scouts and we broke them into two teams of eight. One was Team Iol and one was Team Big Man, as you've already learned. The Team Big Man was gonna be scouting leagues and Team Iol was gonna be scouting nations. Uh, both had everybody on 20, and then we had different pockets so that we'd be able to see tests. So we had everybody on 20 and then discipline on 10. Everybody on 20, determination on 10. And we did that speaking Spanish and not speaking Spanish. So we did both of those, which I, I think is an important distinction because we found in our first test that speaking the language of the place that you're scouting in makes a ridiculously large impact in terms of your knowledge accumulation in an area. Oh, uh, you know what we also could do? You guys remember these? I've had this sitting behind for a week waiting for a, a video. I figured it'd be fun to do it on stream. If you've not seen one of these um, ads before, this is actually our uh, our official, the, our mystery shirt sponsor. They're the only one that we work with. And they've sent us a bunch of cool shirts over the years. We get a new shirt once a month. Now it's our next mystery shirt box. So if you want to, I'm talking to chat here, but if you want to check this out, link is down in the description. They do a great job, nice and cheap, properly sourced. You know, I wouldn't work with them if that wasn't the case. Great people too, really nice guys. Remove the chat? No, I want you to be a part of it. You're hanging out. Okay, now I've got to open the box though, figure out what freaking kit I got. Ah! They also have great tape. Ah! There we go. Easy chat, it's really easy. Okay, here we go. And the shirt that we have received from Mystery Football this month. It fell out. What is, oh, that out. it is, ooh, this is cool. I like this kit. You know what it is yet? You know what it is yet? You probably won't guess it. It is Belgian side KV Mechelen, which look at that kit. See the badge in the middle, KV Mechelen. What a kit. That's cool. Now back to the tests. Now that we have found out that nation scouting is the way to go, what we can do is we can go in and look and see like how important was discipline in this whole thing. So somebody with everything but 10 discipline had 52% where our control that was like top level had 75%. So discipline obviously important, but what about discipline if you don't speak any Spanish? Well, it's 19%. These are really, really significant results, actually. So we see a 20% difference if you have half the discipline. And we see a massive 50% difference, essentially, in terms of your scouting accomplishment if you've only got 10 discipline and don't speak Spanish. This is with 20 adaptability. This is a question I get all the time. How much does adaptability make up for not knowing an area? Not that much. This person had 20 adaptability and just 10 discipline, nothing. If we go to the control group where you've got 10 of everything, then we actually come in at just 6% of this whole thing. And I want you to know that all of these scouts were set completely balanced behind the scenes. Their hidden attributes as a staff member and their hidden attributes as a person in the game were all set to 10, except for controversy, which I set to five. I just felt like that was a reasonable thing to do. Let's look at determination. So if you have 10 determination, we're looking at 58% if you speak Spanish. Uh, and if you have 10 determination and no Spanish, you're actually at 29%, which weirdly would indicate that discipline's more important than determination on a scout. I like this test so much more than the last one. The last one was finding a problem. Now we're finding solutions, chat. So determination doesn't matter as much as discipline. That is probably in a variation there. I mean, it's 11 off. The fact that discipline would at least be on the same level as determination for scouting is interesting. So if you already speak the language or have knowledge of the area, adaptability really doesn't matter at all. Bada bing! Bada boom! Here we had 75%, now we come in with this person's a 65%. That is not a super significant difference over the course of six months. 
And if you don't speak Spanish and you have 10 adaptability, oof, that would be 18%. If you do not have any, if you have basic adaptability and cannot speak Spanish, which again, proving speaking the language, very important. Somebody raised the question, do they learn the language? We have frozen the attributes for the sake of this test. If you send them to Columbia for a year and the attributes aren't frozen, do they learn the language over time? I would absolutely love to do that test, but I would agree. It would be stupid if they didn't do that. What about countries with several languages and the scout only knows one of those? Uh, I would assume that if you're going to Nigeria and there's like 200 languages, that one of the main ones and you're fine. So like West Africa, you'd look for somebody that's French, able to speak French so they can get around and then send them to individual nations in West Africa because nation scouting is the way to go. Discipline's more important. Adaptability is less important and speaking the language is still ridiculously important. But we've gone from region scouting to nation scouting, which means we're gonna have to reassess everything that I've ever said in a scouting video. That doesn't sound bad. That sounds easy. Doesn't this make it harder for you to find that one wonder kid from Togo? Yes. That means that nation scouting and scavenging youth team tournaments is gonna be very valuable because the way to find those great wonder kids from lesser nations is not the region scouting where you cast a wide net and catch everybody. It is instead to make sure you hone in on nations where you know you're gonna be able to get good players you can afford and then look at the youth national teams at the U20 AFCON and find young players that are in those teams that you might be able to go after early. Let them do the initial scouting and then make sure that you dive in in those moments. That would be my recommendation now based off the information that we have found. And did I mention we beat Minesweeper? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go change the scouting in both of, my, <laughs> both of the saves I've been streaming, particularly with Floridsdorfer. I feel like we haven't touched that in a while, but chat, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Was this a good time? Or is I all just going to the, the, the editor of this video? I all is in the, he's in the chat. Take 55. It was not take. It was take three. It was take three. Unbelievable. Hopefully see you guys the next time we are recording a video live because they were here when it happened and when we beat Minesweeper. So let's go chat. Yeah. Good test, everybody. High fives all around. All right. Go stretch and drink some water. See you next time.